So when you first open up a client's card and you're going to research, you're going to do the scan. So you click the research button. And right here from this tab called group, you can click the drop down menu and you can decide which system you want to look at. And in this case, I know this person is having cardiovascular problems, so I'm gonna click on cardiovascular. Now, all that shows up here are all the cardio items. And just for speed's sake, because I'm gonna be discussing how to use the reprinter, I'm just going to scan a few items. Okay, we're going to scan those items. Just take about a couple minutes. Some of these scans, as you can see, don't look very bad. We're just seeing twos and threes, ones, and maybe a four or two but 90% of it are twos and ones. So it's looking like there aren't a lot of issues. But I know this person does have heart issues. They were diagnosed with pericarditis a week ago. So we've seen a few more scans that have quite a bit of fours and some fives. So those are the, the images we wanna look at. So quickly right here, we can take a quick glance at these numbers, the energy numbers. And we can click on where the lowest numbers are. Let's say for example, the KOD is under 1.2, as we notice it's 0 0.84, so that's not good. The energy is 66%, that's not good. And it's a five. So let's click on that tissue. And we look at the image, there's lots of fours and fives. So something definitely going on in this arterial vessel tissue. So now I'm gonna click on card index page so I can actually evaluate this tissue. I'm gonna click on the image. And we see the graph isn't looking good either because the red line is above the blue line and there's quite a large gap. So we wanna look at it a little further. So we're gonna click on the graph. And now we come to the analysis page. So we wanna click on pathology and see what's happening here. So optimum distribution of this arterial, arterial tissue is 0 0.847. Now let's click on dystonia vascular and see just how much is it impacting that KOD number by clicking on adjust all. It literally drops the KOD or the optimum distribution in half to 0 0.4. So we know this particular issue, this dystonia vascular is really impacting this tissue. Now we want to confirm that that's accurate. So we've highlighted this condition and now we're gonna the ghetto test it and see just how much it's impacting the vessel tissue. Wow, if you were paying attention, you notice there was even some sixes that popped up. So let's click on analysis plus. 
Wow, it confirms that that dystonia vascular is impacting this arterial tissue by 61 so it's confirmed that dystonia vascular is an actual condition that this person is experiencing. So we exit. Now on this page, I wanna start treating this condition. It's been confirmed. It's dropped the KOD in half. It's weakening it by 61%. I forget exactly what we said. So I wanna to go to reprinter, which is this button over here, reprinter click on, I want to actually neutralize this condition, this dystonia vascular, and since it's a negative topic, we call it, or a negative impact on the body, we want to invert its frequency. We're trying to neutralize this condition. Now the draw count, you can put any number you want in there. And typically most people are doing maybe 12 to 100. But recently I've heard of doctors and other practitioners making this as high as 6,000. I'm not so sure I agree with that because you can overload the body with frequencies to the point that it really isn't gonna make a difference. And in fact, it might be bombarding the body too much and create negative effects instead of positive effects. But recently, because of finding out that many people are using well over 12 and 60 and 100, I've literally changed this to 1,000. So I can see what kind of change it makes on myself and my family, I do. I use it on them. And you wanna make sure that you've clicked on RF if you're doing the reprinter directly to the individual, you wanna click RF. The other buttons are if you're making a remedy using the little cup and using water, alcohol, sugar, or wax, and you're imprinting into the little bottle and you're gonna give them that remedy and they're gonna walk away with it. But RF means remote frequency treatment. So in the headset, you either have their fingernails or if you're using the magic black box, you would put it in the black box. You're not treating them attached to the headset. So you invert. And if you have inverted it, it's going to show up right here. And then you click start. So right now it's giving a neutralizing frequency to that particular health condition. Hoping that it doesn't impact the body like it has been. And just because you do it a thousand times today, doesn't mean that it's fixed just means that you are strengthening the body to battle that condition. So I'm going to stop it. And I just wanna show you that you can input the numbers, change the numbers just by highlighting and doing that. Or you can use the up and down arrows like that for, for more or less. Okay, now let's exit this screen. Now we want to perhaps treat this tissue with homeopathy. And right here, it's giving us six potential homeopathic remedies that could help this person. So we click on the first one. You can look at the description and read the description. Does this resonate with this person's symptoms? Are these some of the issues that are, or symptoms that are showing up? You could look at the top five and see which one seems to match. Because with homeopathy, you use the remedy that matches most.
to their symptom. So you could go down and you could look at them like so. And then you could also say, let's say I think, well, I think they should have, I think they should have oleander. So I'm gonna have the ghetto test it and see if it really is a positive remedy for that person. And then you click analysis plus. Oh, it says weakening by 42%. So that's not a good remedy. Let's try the very first one. Let's the ghetto test it. That's also weakening. Looks like in this case, none of these remedies are really good for this person. In this case, there's not a single one of these remedies that's good for this person. And that's why it's important to the ghetto test before you actually decide to use something. Okay, not one of them. So we're gonna go to a different tissue I'm gonna go back to the home screen. I'm gonna make sure I'm on today's scan. Here's another scan of the aorta transverse section that you can see is very weak. Got lots of fives and fours and it shows up in the column as a five. And the KOD is below 1.2. Let's look at it. Also, the graph, the red lines come entirely above the blue. So let's go look and see what's going on. Okay, I wanna look at pathology. And the same thing is showing up, dystonia vascular. So once again, it's been confirmed. It's weakening this person by 65%. So then again, I'd go to reprinter, I would invert. I'd select how many draw counts I want. Start preparation and make sure it's on RF. I'm going to stop it. Let's look at homeopathy here. Suja comes up here. Still continues to weaken this person. So I wouldn't use it. Ooh, that one also, we could send by 42%. If it had been good for the person, I would go to reprinter. You do not invert because this is a remedy. It's a positive topic, so you don't invert it. And you put how many draw counts you want, start preparation, and it would send it directly to the person as if you had made it, as if you had given them the actual physical remedy. So this is one form of therapy. This is one way of using the reprinter. Then after that, go back to the research page. 
go to the shape column. I always pick four, fives, and sixes. So all that remains from the scan that we did are tissues that have four, fives, and sixes. Make sure the bar is at the top. I highlight the first one. I hold down the shift key. I scroll all the way down to the last one. Now all these are highlighted, but I still need to get the check in the box. So I say check selected, go up to meta correction and start the therapy. And in this case, I'm going to use 10. So now it's gonna start giving it automatically through all those tissues. 10 metatherapies to each one of those tissues that are chronic and acute. 